A man is dead after a shooting involving Plant City police officers. No officers were hurt in this, but this happened this morning at a BP gas station off Park Road. Police dispatch got a call around 5 o'clock this morning from a man who said he was being followed for two hours and needed help. Officers searched for the car and found one speeding down a road. At one point, that car tried to run an officer off the road. Two officers shot and killed him. Investigators believe the phone that made the 911 call was found inside the car. Could this be round two of the fight over the Confederate monument in Tampa? Well, one of Hillsborough County leaders who voted to keep the monument is compromising. Our partners at the Tampa Bay Times say Hillsborough County Commissioner Vic Victor Christ wants to move the statue to Oaklawn Cemetery. Chris says that cemetery is Tampa's oldest public burial ground and has Confederate soldiers and slaves buried there. While it may be a compromise, those who are against the divisive statue want that statue taken down entirely. Commissioners will meet again on the 19th. It's been said that surrounding yourself with good people, good things will happen to you. But the same hopefully can be said that surrounding yourself with active people makes you more active. According to a recent study, well, they say that's true. Even psychologists at Cleveland Clinic say that when we share our plans with others, it holds us accountable and usually makes us more likely to continue with those plans. Tropical storm Brett dumped heavy rain over Trinidad this morning. You can see all of that wind and rain in that video. Kind of looks like Florida sometimes. The storm's eye had sustained winds of 40 miles per hour with even heavier gusts. And Ashley, we're happy that's not happening at home, but we do have that tropical system just to our west that everybody's thinking about right now. Yeah. Some people in St. Pete are not feeling good about where the city appears to be headed. That's because when Mayor Rick Kreisman unveiled his proposed budget late yesterday, the poor and working class say they felt left out. According to our partners at the Tampa Bay Times, more than two dozen people argued not enough money is going towards affordable housing, homelessness, safer streets, and a permanent fix to the city's sewage woes. In fact, the mayor's budget was conservative with no property tax cut and no new initiatives. But remember, this year is an election year, so that might be why the mayor is being a little more cautious. He'll present his final budget next month. And some big changes are on the way to Tampa's Channel Side Bay Plaza. This morning, Port Tampa Bay officials approved a request to tear down part of the plaza to make way for renovations. Tampa Bay Lightning owner Jeff Vinnick is hoping to transform the southwest corner of the plaza into a park. It will feature public art, festivals, pop-up bars, and even restaurants. A lot of changes are going to be taking place in that area over the next couple of years. Yeah, it's really transforming, and mm -hmm. that means a lot of construction. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. So a group of inmates are being called heroes. Any it has been two weeks since that massive sinkhole opened up, and we know it needs to be cleaned up, but the question now is, who's going to pay for it? Pasco County has been haggling with the insurance companies of the houses affected, calling the cleanup a private matter. Let me be very clear, the county... So if you have plans to go to the beach today, we have a big warning for you before you get into the water, especially at Davis Island Park Beach, because it is closed because of a bacteria found in the water that can cause disease, infections, and rashes. Officials say the bacteria could be from a number of things like dog waste or storm water runoff. They'll be back to test out that water again on Monday. And if you want to go to the beach, probably a better idea would maybe St. Mm. Pete Beach, Treasure Island, that area. But I will tell you, I was there last week and it's not even fun to get in the water because the water like is like bath water or a hot tub maybe. Yeah, it's in the upper 80s, close to 90 <laughs> yeah. degrees and we're going to have a lot to deal with that. So we'll have to watch out for that, especially tomorrow morning during your morning commute. Be careful so, for some of that puddling. Yeah. Thanks so, so much for joining us this Sunday morning. Rick and I have really enjoyed spending time with you. Make sure to follow us on our Facebook page at 10 News WTSP.